Hello everyone, welcome to this video tutorial on how to get started with the location weather plugin. This powerful tool allows you to display real-time weather information on your website. These informations can be customized to show the current and forecasted weather conditions in any location in the world. After installing the plugin in your WordPress dashboard, you will see a menu called Location Weather. Navigate to Plugin Settings and API Settings. Here you need to insert the API key to make the plugin work properly. To get your API key, sign in to openweathermap.org. I am already logged in. Once you are logged in, you will be redirected to API keys page. Copy your default API key and go back to the plugin settings and insert the API key here and save the changes. Remember, sometimes the API key may take up to 2 hours to activate after a successful registration. Now let's dive into the plugin features. Click add new to create a new weather view and give it a title. Below that you'll find several configuration tabs, initially you'll be in the weather settings. Here you'll find two layout presets, vertical card and horizontal to display your weather views. For each layout you'll get a template. Then set your specific location by city name, city id, zip code and geo coordinates. If you wish you can set a custom location name which will override the location name coming from open weather map. Next configure the weather measurement unique like temperature, pressure, wind speed and visibility. For each data, you will get multiple units to set. You can display the temperature unit in Celsius and Fahrenheit. Now let's go to the Descriptions Configuration tab. In the General tab, you can show or hide the location name, current date, date format, current time, time format, time zone, language, and preloader. In the Current Weather tab, you can show or hide the weather condition icon. Choose an icon type from animated and normal, icon size, temperature and with the short description. On the additional data tab, you can show hide the pressure unit, humidity, wind, clouds, wind gust, visibility, sunrise, sunset time. Organize the weather additional data in three different layout style, list center, list left and list justified. Configure additional data icon type, icon color and margin from here. In the footer tab, you can show hide the Detailed weather, date update time, weather attribution. Check the box if you want your weather attribution to link with open weather map. Set the margin to your footer if you need to. Go to the style options configuration tab. Here you can change the weather background color and configure content padding, border, border radius and box shadow. Go to the typography tab to change the current weather, additional data, forecast data and footer text color. After configuring your weather data, publish the shortcode, go to a page where you want to display it. Insert the shortcode using the location weather button bar block. Select the shortcode and you will get a preview of it. Publish the page and view it. You can see the weather views are displaying in the web pages. All in all, the plugin will help you to improve your site user experience and boost your SEO ranking. Hope the video helps. Thanks for watching.